right, everyone. Thanks again for clicking on my video, for joining me for what I forgot to do in my part one cash stuffing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is just, oh, some days I question my sanity. Every single day I question my sanity because I got off from my, just finished my part two video and I'm like, oh, okay. Never did my change. Never did my cancer box. Never stuffed my wallet. Never did, um, <laughs> never did my grandkids dollar savings. Oh, well, I could probably make another 10 minute video about that. So why not? Here's some additional video time. <laughs> So anyway, all right, well, let's just jump into why I'm making this video today. Let's get into Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy is my change jar, and um, she is set up into four sections. And uh, I have a lot of change this week. I don't know what it was, but I have a lot of change. So she is set up into... Four sections for save, spend, donate, and invest. And no, there is no, I, I just stuff it. I don't, I don't, I just stuff it. <laughs> That's all. I just put money into each one. And then once they're all filled, I take them out, I add it up, and I put that money away. Um, like always, I am saving towards a down payment on a new car. So I figured I would include some change into that. My spend one is for moi, for all of my hard work. And uh, donate goes to my local cancer walk. And invest, I will be throwing into a, um, a uh, retirement fund. Walmart, $3. Fits perfect. Oh. oh, I thought I was going to get away with not spilling any today, but I guess that will just never happen in my lifetime. These are in my Etsy shop. As a matter of fact, I just mailed out one the other day. I think she's using it for her kids, maybe. Judging by what I had to do on the side. Okay. Miss Piggy is stuffed. Okay. Throw that back in my purse. We'll put Miss Piggy to the side. Oh, all right, Miss Pig, get on up there. Okay, I forgot to throw money into my cancer box. So let's get some moolah in there. Let's see, what pretty ones do I want today? Let's see. Um, I'm fighting cancer. I'm not anymore. I was back in 2008 and have been cancer free ever since, which I thank God every single day about. Literally every single day. Because I would not wish that on the person. Ugh. I don't even know. Because that's just, that's a horrific thing to go through. Okay. So we'll do five. So um, last year I was doing five, uh, one $5 envelope and I decided to up that this year. And um, so we're going to put $5 into the cancer box towards my cupcakes. Okay, so, okay, there we're at. And then, um, again, these are in my Etsy shop. I can vinyl them any way you want. They all come with little trackers on them. And uh, I do not, I have just fives and tens in here right now. Um, I will not have to use this money until like June of next year so I've got a lot of months more to save so okay so the cancer box is done 
So let's move on fairly quickly to my, um, so these are for my grandchildren. They are my budget rolls. And these are for their um, dollar bucks challenge. Okay, I don't have that many this, this week. Um, let's see, I think I have three and three. L and L. So usually if I'm at the register and I'm making change, if I buy like a coffee or something like that, I usually look for L's and G's. I know I cheat. <laughs> but this week I was just so busy. I was just, I just grabbed anything. So um, one, two, three, and I am going to leave this one out so I can remember to color my trackers. So each one of these, each one of my little pockets is worth $25. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. So I collect L's for my grandson Lane and G um, for my granddaughter Maya. Her nickname is G-Baby, okay? So he, so as soon as this one is done, this will be his third set of $300. So, or his third set of 100, which will take him to $300. So, yeah, I'm, I kind of, I really like this. I mean, this makes me feel good. Being able to, I never thought that I'd be able to put money away for my grandchildren. Seriously. Never thought that I would be able to put money away for my grandkids, ever. And um, this makes me feel really good. Makes me feel all warm and tingly inside. <laughs> okay, Miss Maya, with your little ballerina shoes. Let me get, oh, you know, do. Take this out. Actually, I'm just going to leave it open so I remember after the video to... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yay for Miss Maya. It was just, oh, oh. Cute little things. Okay. So hers is ballerina. Oh, cute little ballerinas. And I'm just going to keep saving them. That's how I save money for my grandkids. And then I have their, their savings challenge boxes. So that works for me. Okay, so let me stuff my wallet. So this is my little money holder. I got this off of Etsy, oh, I don't know, about a year ago after uh, once I started um, cash stuffing. Um, so I put my gas, my food money, and my me money, and my miscellaneous money in here. Um, so like I've said in the past, I get paid every two weeks. And so I budget two weeks worth of groceries and gas and spending money, but I split it in half. Um, I put, uh, I do it a week at a time. So from today until next Thursday is half of it. The other half goes in my everyday binder. And then next Thursday, I restuff this because if I have it in here, I'm going to spend it. So. All right, so I budgeted. Gas prices are actually really coming down. Um, so I budgeted $50 a week for gas. So 20, 30, 20, 40, 50. So I will, when I go out later on, I will fill up my tank or as close as I can to it. Okay, so food. So my husband's going to be traveling for the next three months. He'll be gone Monday through Friday. So that brings my food bill down a little bit. So I'm only doing um, $100 a week. Um, so 20, 40, 50. Um, how was I going to do this? Oh, okay. This is how I was going to do it. Okay. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Because that this will be plenty for me. Plenty for me. But... So a lot of people might say, well, why, why is a single person, are you, are you um, budgeting $100 a week for just me? This also includes my, um, like my laundry detergent, any of my household stuff, dishwasher stuff, 
This includes all of my health and beauty aid stuff, my shampoo, razors, anything like that. So I don't separate those because it's just too confusing for me when I go grocery shopping. It's just one more envelope that I have to keep track of. So I make it work, you, you, you know what I mean? So it's $100 for all that, for my paper towels, for my toilet paper, for everything. So I usually spend about $60 on food. Um, again, I'm not home all the time. And then, so when I get home at night, um, it's just literally something to eat for dinner and a little breakfast in the morning. Um, and then the rest of it goes to all of those supplies. So that's why I, I budget so high when it comes to my food. Okay, so me, I get $10. Again, just for my Dr. Pepper addiction. <laughs> and then miscellaneous, in case I should go over in anything, I have a couple of extra dollars. Okay, all right. So this is done. So this, along with my coin purse, will go back in my pocketbook. Okay, now, when I turn around and I do, is so this is for next Wednesday oh I used up all my 20s okay so 50 one two three four five I knew I wasn't going to get my denominations right I knew it um so this is my food money for next Thursday to my next payday 50 60 70 80 90 100 okay and then gas 10 20 30 40 50 my miscellaneous, and then my me money. So this all stays in my binder, out of reach, because <laughs> then it gets spent. Okay, so this all stays in this everyday binder at home, safe and sound. So um, this money that you see over here is for my savings challenges. So that's where, um, where this money is going to go. All right, so let me check one more time. <laughs> So I did my wallet and I did my change and we did L box. We did my cancer box. Okay. Now I think I got it right. Now I think I've got all my case, my bases covered, but sorry about that guys. But here's another little short and sweet 10 minute video for you to watch. So thanks again for joining me. Um, like subscribe, um, ring the notification bell, the wall street bell, as I call it. And um, we will catch you in the next video. Happy budgeting. Bye.